pregame.com. Good evening and welcome to pregame.tv. Brady Cannon here alongside Brian Leonard. Football season is back and we are here back to do videos each and every week. Earlier today, the A team, Steve Fezzik and Scott Spritzer were in house. Here we are, the B team, the well oiled B team, Brian Leonard and myself to talk some football. Brian's got a college free pick, I've got an NFL free pick, and then we're also going to talk about preseason NFL week two and what are some of the tendencies you can expect to happen in the second week of preseason action. First of all, we're going to take a look at Saturday's game. The Miami Dolphins will visit the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, an in-state rivalry game. Both teams 0-1 early in the preseason so far. Brian, have you taken a look at a lot of the NFL games so far in the preseason? I don't do a lot in week one of the preseason, but in week two, I, I tend to have a lot more plays. And by the way, i got to give you some exception here. The only way we're the B team is if it's because it's Brady and Brian. Oh, no, that's what I meant. That's exactly what you meant. It had to have been. I've seen those guys. No. No, they do a great job on the on the A team with uh, with uh, Stephen Scott. It should be the S team actually. If we're the B there team, there you go. The S okay, team. I'll buy that. All the right. S team and the, the B team. They're the S team. Uh, Note that, Cade. <laughs> yeah, put a graphic up for that. Uh, but yeah, I, I do a lot more in the second week of the preseason than I do at the first because I like to react to what happened in week one. Sure, sure. It's almost like a microcosm of the real season where it's usually about week three or four where I have a pretty good feel for, you know, the statistics start to give you a better sample size and you can start to get a feel for what these teams might be doing throughout the year. That first week is really tough. Yeah, it definitely is. And um, we're, we're taping on Tuesday. The S team is also taping on Tuesday, which puts us a little bit behind the eight ball when it comes to preseason because yeah. a lot of the stuff we use in the preseason, it goes off of information. A lot of that information is just not out this early, but we're going to give it our best shot to get somebody a winner. You're absolutely right. The preseason for me is all about, you know, kind of listening to the, uh, the, the new, or reading the newspapers and listening to the radio shows and hearing what these coaches have to say. It's not, no, not necessarily so much about the players on the field and, and you know, how they're performing, where, how you might handicap it in a traditional, in the regular season. Correct. Well, we're going to look at uh, the Miami Dolphins and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As I mentioned, um, this, this one goes Saturday at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is currently a two-point favorite. Um, I like the coaching changes that Tampa Bay made this year, bringing in Jeff Tedford, a real good offensive mind from Cal Berkeley, and then Lovey Smith, of course, on the flip side, a real good defensive mind from the Chicago Bears. I think it makes for a good combination for this team. Yeah, it definitely does. And you got Leslie Frazier there, the defensive coordinator. So you've got guys that have experience at the top level and I, I like what they've done here in Tampa. Yeah and I think it plays really well into Tampa's you know their identity. They're you know typically a very good defensive team so you've got Frazier and Smith and the, <clears throat> excuse me and then you bring in Tedford to hopefully accelerate that offense. Their real problem has been with quarterback. Yeah it definitely has been and I'm not so sure at this point their quarterback is where they want it to be. Um, but, uh, you know, a big rivalry game here, even though it's preseason. I mean, yeah, it's no. bragging rights for Florida. Absolutely. And, and well, Miami. Jacks, Jacksonville's there. So, but we won't talk about well, that. Well, right. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Tampa Bay just came off of a game against Jacksonville, in which they lost. So uh, they're, they're down 0 for 1 in the state of Florida. There you go. Well, you know, you talk about the quarterback. Josh McCown is so far the starter. He did start the last game, and he really struggled, had a pick six. He fumbled the ball twice. He was sacked twice. He was in for four series and just four, uh, just two out of four for 20 yards. Um, not real impressive. Uh, the second guy, Mike Glennon, came in, the backup, and he did pretty well. He was 11 of 19 for 140 yards, had a TD, and no interceptions. So uh, I, I'm not going to say there's a quarterback controversy, but uh, certainly the backup performed better better than the starter. I actually think I don't know if it's a quarterback controversy but I don't think either one of these guys whoever wins this job is going to be confident all season long that he's going to keep it because right. obviously they've had problems in the past scoring and uh, I could see either one of them bouncing back and forth all season long. Absolutely. On the other side Ryan Tannehill pretty darn impressive in his debut against the Atlanta Falcons in a loss. He was 6 for 6 in his series, drove the team 73 yards in 10 plays, finished off with a 6 yard TD pass to uh, Brandon Gibson who's a wide receiver who's been impressing uh, the team so far early on. Yeah, this is a team that has some talent as long as they can stay healthy, especially out of the quarter, quarterback position. And they're in a weaker division. You know, I, I don't think Miami, I, I expect them to have a decent year. Their season win total is posted at eight, which, uh, you know, if they could get over that, I think it certainly would be a successful campaign. Definitely. You ready to make this one official? Sure, go ahead. 
Okay, Lovey Smith guiding the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their home opener against the visiting Miami Dolphins, their in-state rival, and Joe Philbin. A couple of coaches here that both really don't care about the preseason too much, as evidenced by their records in the preseason. Lovey Smith at about 500 at 19 and 18 straight up. Joe Philbin just two and seven in the preseason. Brian and I were talking earlier that in the preseason you oftentimes want to hear what the coaches are saying, how they're going to approach this game in your handicap, much different from the regular season when you're really getting into the nuts and the bolts of the team's performance. But here you're listening to, is this going to be a glorified practice session or is one team really going to try and win the game? And in this case, the coaches probably aren't going to give you too much because neither of them care that much. However, if you look at some of the trends in this game, the Dolphins are excellent in preseason week two. They are 7-1 and one against the spread in game two in recent years. As Brian mentioned, this is also an in-state rivalry. And in this in-state rivalry, the visiting team is 11 and 2 against the spread. Now both teams are coming in off of a loss. I have a feeling the Dolphins are certainly going to want to make amends for that. They were impressive with Tannehill in their first series, um, but I think they're going to want to have a little bit of extra going into Tampa Bay because key to note here, Tampa Bay beat uh, the Miami Dolphins twice last year. In the preseason they beat Miami and also in the regular season. So Miami certainly has something to atone for here. I don't like revenge in the NFL all that much, but with the in-state situation and having lost twice to Tampa Bay last year, I think Miami's got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, and their record in game two of preseasons, I really like Miami in this spot. Also catching points, a couple of points here. I don't know if it'll get to three. That would probably, probably be the natural way it would go, but I think you might see this number actually come down. So if you want to jump on it, jump on it fast. We're going with the Miami Dolphins on Saturday at Tampa Bay getting a couple points. I can see that one coming in, and uh, I'm actually leaning towards the over in this one. When you take a look at last year, you've got the number 27 offense and number 32 offense. Both teams changed offensive coordinators. Obviously, Tampa Bay changed their entire coaching staff. You're looking at a game last week where Miami was shut out in the second half of the game, and Tampa only scored three points in the first half. So I think the offense is going to get a lot more of the fine-tuning this week in practice. I may play this game over. Yeah, and 37, the total right now, pretty low. Um, the wide receivers, Mike Wallace and Brian Hartline, uh, still undetermined if they're going to go for Miami on Saturday. They're fighting some injury. No Sean Moreno, I guess, is feeling pretty good. He did practice this week with the team. He might see some carries. He's, of course, going to be competing for that starting spot with Lamar Miller. Yeah, either way, I don't know if the starters are going to play a long time no. in, this, in this game. Either way. But at least you know when you go into it that the game plan is for the offense is to put some points on the board because they struggled in the past. I agree with you. We'll be back and we'll cover some college football next. It's Brian's turn to give his free pick out. Stay with us. It's pregame.tv.